On today's show, I'm bringing back a returning guest. Uh, he was on my show back in February of this year. We're talking about no other than American Cannabis Company, Inc. They trade on the OTCQB. Look them up. Their ticker symbol is AMMJ. And with us today is the CEO and director of the company going to bring us up to speed. Some great things are happening over there is Terry Buffalo. Terry, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks so much for having me back. You know, on November 12th, you guys put out a press release about the, the approval uh, for the operator license by Colorado. And then in uh, uh, October, I think you guys put out a press release about the suitability. That being said, what does this mean for your company? You know, Everett, uh, up until this past year in the state of Colorado, a public company could not own a plant-touching business. Uh, the, the rule changed back in January, the HB 191090, you've probably heard a lot about. Yep. So we as a public company went through the suitability where we are approved to actually own a plant-touching business in the state of Colorado as a public company. So we're very excited. We are exploring multiple opportunities in this state. And then the operator's license is very interesting nuance because it allows us to go in and operate a facility without actually owning the license, which, again, was not available up until this year. So we could go into the license, uh, into the uh, operations and have total control, hard fire, and also participate in the P&L. So that really helps us go after our new uh, uh, cultivation management that we're rolling out uh, currently. So we're very excited to have both of those because we're looking for, you know, ongoing, uh, you know, reoccurring revenue, and that will help us uh, accomplish our, our goal. You know, if I recall the last time we talked, most of your revenues was coming from consulting, very little from, from product sales. That's going to be changing pretty soon, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, over this last uh, nine months with, you know, COVID coming in and, and slowing our, our consulting business down on the front end, we were uh, fortunate enough to have our So Humble Living Souls, which increased uh, sales tremendously. Uh, you know, last year at this time, we had about 66% of our revenue was coming from consulting and 33 from our, our product line. And I just absolutely flip-flopped over the last nine months. Now it's 66 product and 33% uh, consulting uh, at this time. Is this going to be a one and done or, or is there, are you growing in retail stores or, or, you know, bring us up to speed, retail stores, uh, distributorship, licensing agreements? Where are we at on this? Well, with Hasoma, yes, we're getting close to 100 retail stores throughout the U.S. We have got a uh, distribution open in the U.K. now, and we are looking to get back into the Canadian markets because we know that's a great potential for our Soham product. Um, so, you, you know, and that, as far as the licensing, we are still working in the East Coast trying to get some deals down there to launch our brand uh, on the East Coast, but also as we acquire opportunities here in the Colorado market, we'll be, you know, using it and, and, and promoting our own brand for the grow, this distribution, or, or uh, let me back up, for the grow, dispensary, and manufacturing uh, operations we are looking to acquire. Speaking of that, as you know, Arizona just passed uh, recreational marijuana. Uh, how did the elections, or how will the elections affect your business going forward? You know, we were very fortunate uh, that we had at least the five states come on. The first of uh, 2020, we were looking about a dozen states, and we were getting ramped up for a good solid year. And then when, after COVID hit, you know, kind of really took away our front-end business, the application writing, business plans, pro forma, design work. And with these five states now coming on, uh, we are seeing a lot more uh, uh, leads coming into our pipeline. So hopefully we'll be able to continue offering uh, additional services in those markets and look to expand the American cannabis name in markets that are friendly to public companies. Speaking of services, anything new in services or products for American Cannabis Company right now? Well, like I touched on just a moment ago about the cultivation management that we're rolling out, uh, we're starting to get a lot of good attention on that. But one thing I've been really working on is a cannabis accounting division. You, you know, we find a lot of uh, local accountants uh, that are doing the books for dispensaries or grow facilities that really do not understand 280E. And so we have rolled down the cannabis uh, accounting division that we're happy to have. That's the way, uh, you know, the IRS is saying they're coming after you. They're coming to do audits. So uh, these operators better have their books in place. Uh, we also have really done a lot of upgrades in our uh, cultivation queue, uh, added some new interesting nuances to that. Uh, and then Soham in general, uh, we are continuing working on additional products to add to the Soham line. But as you know, that takes many months of R&D before we're uh, comfortable releasing it. So we do have a few uh, uh, new uh, SKUs under the Soham brand we're looking to release. Before I let you go today, Terry, how do you plan on growing the business here in the next, say, two quarters? 
You know, our growth will definitely be from acquisitions. You know, as we're continuing making this uh, transition from full-blown consulting, we will continue doing that. But we're looking to make these acquisitions and plant-touching uh, businesses. And so that's where we're looking to add the revenue and uh, go in and do what we know best. We've been doing this for many years, helping everyone else fulfill their dreams. So it's time for ACC now that we have the ability, with the laws changing, that we can fulfill and, and really uh, either branch out the American cannabis brand. Your stock price is around ten cents. Your market cap's around seven point two million. What is it that you want my listeners and your stockholders to take away from today's interview? Just understand, you know, in this market, because of the, you know, where we were sitting, being a consulting on a plant touching over this past year, it should really hurt us. But it's given us the opportunity to take a look at our business, cut a lot of the expenses that we've had. We've been able to lower, you know, tremendous amount of overhead from, um, you know, fixed expense and some variables. And so going forward is we're able to make these acquisitions. Knowing what we know best, being able to cut, you know, the, increase the efficiencies, we will be able to bring some top line gross numbers, but actually have a profitable number because investors are tired of just seeing blow away gross numbers. But again, uh, you know, devastating losses also, you know, you generate five million, you lose 10 million. <laughs> but that's not what investors are looking for. So we're looking at being very methodical as we look at these acquisitions to make sure that it will be able to be accretive and bring value to our shareholders. My guest has been today has been Terry Buffalo. He is the CEO and director of American Cannabis Company, Inc. Look him up. You can find him on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol AMMJ. Terry, I want to thank you for stopping by and coming on the show today. Only thing I ask is you know, don't wait another eight months to come back on the show. Uh, please come back on the show as soon as possible. I know you guys got a lot of things in the hoppers over there. You're making some things happen. Uh, congratulations uh, on the on the new operating license and the uh, suitability license. I think you guys are doing a great job over there. Well, thanks so much for having me on. I look forward to getting back on the show soon. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by La Jolla Media LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are for educational and research purposes. Stock Day encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. 